buy low and sell high. Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I'm gonna be showing you guys some beginner tips on investing inside of the stock market. Right now, it's a pretty decent time to invest into the stock market. Yes, I know if you heard the news, we could be heading into a recession, but that is also great for investors because usually if you start investing in a recession, 365 days later from the all time low, you can see gains up to 50% when usually in the stock market in a bull run you can see the stock market go up anywhere from six to twelve percent so the first most important tip that i could give you guys right now in this video is to buy low and sell high and when the market is in a recession you are getting some good quality companies at a steal of a price so before we get into the rest of this video i want to let you guys know the two brokerages that i use i use weeboo and i use moomoo right now if you sign up with weeboo deposit any amount of money even just one penny you can receive up to five free stocks valued up to $12,000 with those five free stocks you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it or you could sell those five free stocks and withdraw all of your money guys it's literally free money also I left a link in the description to Moomoo same thing sign up deposit $100 and you can receive up to six free stocks valued up to $12,000 once again, with those free stocks, you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it, or you could withdraw all of your money. Guys, it's literally free money, and if you're a beginner investor, this is the best and easiest way to start your account, and then you could use the rest of these tips in this video that I'm gonna get you guys to grow your account over time so that one day you could be financially free. All right, so the next tip that I'm gonna give you guys, tip number two is that you need to create a diverse portfolio. You need to select good quality stocks. Don't just buy any trash stocks out there. In fact, for beginners, I highly suggest that you guys start off not buying individual stocks, but buying ETFs. ETF stands for exchange traded funds. All right, so here we are on Robinhood. This is ticker symbol KO Coca-Cola. This is an individual stock. It's just, if you buy a share of this, you're going to be buying one share of coca-cola and now you're a partial owner of this company an etf is a company like voo which stands for the vanguard s p 500 which basically track the entire market voo has over 500 different companies in the united states inside of their portfolio they buy and sell shares of these 500 companies all the time so it pretty much tracks the the top 500 companies in america inside of their portfolio so if you're not sure about what stocks what individual stocks you need to buy yet because you're a beginner investor you really don't know these ceos you don't know the backgrounds of these companies until you dive deep into what company you want to start buying individual shares of then i highly suggest that you start off with an etf like voo which has over 500 different companies inside of their portfolio in fact if we scroll down you can see that they have um, companies in all different sectors technology healthcare, consumer clinic Medical industries, um, utilities, basic materials, they have the entire stock market covered. And then you can look at their top 10 holdings. They have Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, um, Google, Class A, Google, Class C, Tesla, Brick and Shared Hathaway, NVIDIA, and Johnson & Johnson. So if you're scared to invest into one individual stock, then you could just invest into VOO or SPY, which tracks the top 500 companies. So I highly suggest that for tip number two, you start off investing into ETFs instead of individual stock. Now, one of the reasons I say invest into ETFs to start off instead of individual companies is because a lot of beginner investors don't know how to value these companies. So until you you learn how to value these companies then you need to just go ahead and follow the market and invest into etfs so tip number three would be don't buy without value the difference between a great company and a great investment is the price that you pay there were many fantastic businesses around in the 2000s but few of them was actively priced at the time finding great companies is only half the equation in picking stocks figuring out an appropriate price to pay is just as important to your investment success so with that being said you want to figure out an appropriate price if you're looking at a share of a company and it's overpriced for you i'll show you guys how to see if a company is overpriced or underpriced in many of my videos if you want to figure out how you could click this um, tag right here, they'll let you know exactly how to value a company by using the RSI if it's overpriced or underpriced. But yeah, guys, if you think a company is overpriced, then you can always wait. Let's look at the last three months of VOO. In fact, let's look over the last year of VOO. In fact, let's look over the last five years of VOO. Whenever you think it's overpriced, like right here, the price is always gonna pull back to a price that's appropriate for that ticker symbol. When it goes up, it's always gonna come back down. When it goes up, it's, it's always 
gonna come down to a price that you should feel comfortable buying these stocks at. Just because a stock is at a super high price and doing well, if it's overvalued, you do not want to pay. Remember, the first tip, buy low and sell high. Don't ever buy high and sell low. So that comes back to not overpaying for certain companies. Be patient, don't just always dive into it. If you think something's overpriced, it usually is, and the price will usually pull back. And now that we're kind of heading to a recession, you can find some great stocks at a discounted price. All right, so the next tip I'm gonna give you guys is to limit buy. If, you, if you're on Robinhood, you have two options. You can either buy at the market price. That means they're gonna give you, uh, we're going to use coca-cola the market price right now is around 62 dollars and 53 cents but if you wanted to buy 10 shares sometimes they could give those shares to you at a price of 62 dollars and 55 cents if you're a beginner investor you don't want to overpay for your stocks you want to set your limit at the exact price that you're going to pay for therefore Robinhood is not stealing any small percentage a fraction of a penny of your money if you set a limit so all you have to do is hit trade buy and right there it says market price that mean yes they could give me the shares for 62 dollars and 53 cents or they could give me the shares at 62 dollars and 55 cents but we beginner investors we want to squeeze as many pennies out of these companies as we can so at the top right we can hit share we can hit limit order right here where it says limit order the second one bam and then we want to put in our limit prices 62 dollars and 53 cents in fact if you wanted to pay even lower you could put $62.52. And then once you do that, once Coca-Cola comes down to $62, that means that's the max that you're willing to pay $62.52. That's the max you're willing to pay. Once the price comes down, then you're uh, let's say if you want to buy 10 shares, 10 shares will get filled at that exact price. So remember, if you're a beginner investor, always, don't ever use a market buy. Always use a limit order so that you can maximize your investments inside of the stock market. So that's going to bring us to tip number five, I believe. I think so. Um, when you're, when you're Once you're finally comfortable of not investing into ETFs, you finally find out how the CEOs of some of these companies operate. Hey, the CEO grew this one company to a billion dollars now the ceo is working for this other company he did pretty good in that sector hopefully he could grow this company to a billion dollars as well so i'm going to ride with him once you figure out the background of some of these companies then you want to start you want to pick around like five different companies and grow 100 shares inside of that company so, so you don't want to have five shares of 20 25 different companies uh you can start off with five you can you can start off with five different companies and grow to 100 shares in each of those companies because why you'll be able to generate passive income by selling by selling options against your 100 shares and you can only do that once you reach 100 shares so tip number five would be to get to 100 shares of each company and do not buy options do not buy options starting off as a beginner investor in fact you want to sell options so if you hit trade trade options and go over let's say out uh two weeks if you're buying a call you're betting that a stock is going to go up and if you're buying a put you're betting that a stock is going to go down now when you're selling calls you're going to sell calls when you have a hundred dollars now you're using your 100 shares as leverage and you could generate passive income by selling options um this video would be way too long if i told you exactly how to sell options in this video but basically i could pick the 65 dollar call that's me saying if coca-cola don't go up to 65 dollars because we're in recession it's probably going to go down but if it don't go up to $65, then they're going to credit my account $24 immediately. And then they're going to release my 100 shares back to me. If it goes above $65, let's say we bought it in at $62.53. That means I would still get the profit from $62 all the way to $65 at where I'm selling it at. So it's a win-win scenario. It's very confusing, but if you want me to break it down, once again, click this right here. That'll tell you all about selling options. Now, that's gonna take you to tip number six. Um, I did say do not buy options, but if you are going to buy options, don't let it be short term. You want to buy leaps. Leaps are um, any options that's aspiring out longer than a year from now. So let's say um, right now we're going to pick June 16, 2023. Actually, let's pick January 19, 2024. So this is us betting that, hey, I believe 
um, two years from now, 2024, January 19th, that Coca-Cola is gonna it's gonna be at a higher price than $62.53. Let's say we picked a $65 call that's gonna cost us $500.95 because remember, options have to do with 100 shares. So as long as Coca-Cola is above $65 two years from now, if you think Coca-Cola is gonna perform better over the next two years, uh, we can make an unlimited amount of money and this is a much safer play than buying weekly options. So I highly suggest that you guys look up leap options. Um, that video is going to be linked right here. I did a video covering all of these, but this is a beginner's guys. So if you want to dive deeper into any of these tips, I'm going to leave a little pin link click that you could click right there. All right, and that's going to lead us to the last tip. Um, have proper expectations and avoid short term trading. The first thing is avoid short term trading. Go ahead. We're investors. We're not traders. We're looking to invest inside of the stock market. So that means if you buy a stock and you hold it for less than a year, you're going to be taxed completely different, wiping out a lot of your gains for um, having short term gains, which is holding a stock and selling it um, underneath the year. Now, if you hold it over a year, then that's long-term investments, you get taxed completely different. So if you're buying and selling stocks every day, every week, every two months, then you're gonna get taxed completely different than you would have if you hold on to these stocks long-term. And if you plan the long-term game, be ready for swings and stock. The stock market, yes, right here, you guys can see, I can make $2,000 in one day. But in fact, over the last three months, I'm actually down 19% heading into a recession. So yes, you can have your up days and your down days. So be ready to uh, experience these swings inside the stock market. But luckily for you, if you're a beginning investor, you're getting in at a pretty uh, doggone good price. The market is starting to level off. The market is starting to recorrect itself. So right now, for a fact, you are not buying at all time highs. Um, some people that started investing a couple of months ago were buying at all time highs. So luckily for you, if you just starting um you're not buying at all-time highs but you can still experience these swing trades like that and remember to hold on to your stocks for over a year and there you go guys don't forget to pick up your five free stocks with weeble don't forget to pick up your six free stocks with mumu remember uh that is free money guys do not miss out on those opportunities that is by far the best and easiest way to get your investment um journey started is with free stocks but that's it guys if you're new to this channel i can see that a lot of you guys are not subscribed so go ahead and hit that subscribe button in fact you could go back and watch a couple of my other videos i make investment videos on my channel every week so if you want to check out and go more in depth into each of these tips you, you can find that on my back catalog on my page and if you guys want to um, join the patreon i'm gonna leave that link down in the comment section inside the patreon that'll take you to my discord inside the discord i post every single time i buy and sell the stocks i post my my option trades, my swing trade, my leap trades. Um, and we also have professional day traders in there that post all of that option trades every single day. So if you're new inside the stock market and want to be around a community of traders just like you inside of one Discord, we, ha we have the best community of traders inside the Discord. So if you want to be around people just like you, go ahead and check that link out down in the pinned comment section. But other than that, guys, I'm Zeke bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.